The Minnesota Fighting Vikings clearly have a need at the cornerback position where the Vikings in coverage this year, it was just broken coverages all the, all, all over the place, miscommunication. I don't know if, if it was lack of skill, if it was scheme, if it was coaching. Well, it's probably all of the above, right? So the Vikings entered the 2023 offseason needing to add some dudes out on an island. Now, Kwesi Adolfo Mensa, second offseason in charge of the Vikings. Probably is going to make some big time moves, letting go of a lot of veteran Vikings players with bad contracts, freeing up a lot of cap space. And, you know, Kwesi, so Kwesi is known as an analytics guy, but he's obviously not without ego. He is human. And looking at the Vikings' uh, current cornerback depth, I mean, to the outside fan, and also everyone and their mom doing a mock draft, Vikings going corner, 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 corner at 23. But might that not be the case? Uh, get, given what Kwesi Adolfo Mensa has done so far with this roster. let uh, right, So before you just say, no, draft a corner no matter what, L let's explore. So he drafted a Caleb Evans in the fourth round. He gave up a future fourth rounder uh, to move up to be able to select him in the fourth round 2022. He looked pretty good before he had the multiple concussions. Andrew Booth Jr., seen as a first-round talent, fell to the second round because of injury concerns and then got hurt. There you go. Uh, but still, uh, Kwesi invested a second and a fourth round pick in cornerbacks last year. Cameron Dantzler, he inherited. We'll see what happens there. Tay Gowan is a person. Kalon Barnes is a guy that he brought aboard uh, midseason, uh, you know, fastest cornerback in combine history. And then you have the free agents. So Patrick Peterson, he brought back last year. Patrick Peterson played a phenomenal season. Maybe was a liability in coverage at times, but was great uh, leadership in the cornerback room as well as had uh, five interceptions and frankly played some of the best ball of his career over the last seven seasons. And then he had Duke Shelley. Of course, of course, Quasey's going to put a stamp on Duke Shelley, uh, brought aboard, signed uh, as a cast off from the Crooked Chicago Bears, and Shelley's phenomenal. Like you could make a good case that Shelley was the Vikings' best cornerback on the field the last couple weeks of the season. So obviously, he's going to try to re-sign him. Sean Don, eh, uh, Chris Boyd. A solid special teamer as a cornerback, whatever. So looking at the cornerback room, so say Vikings bring back Patrick Peterson on a, you know, four or five million bucks per year deal. That's fine. Duke Shelley, bring him back at, you know, three, four, five million bucks per year. Perfectly fine. And then you have Evans, the fourth rounder, who showed promise. Boo Jr., the second rounder. And you generally don't give up on second rounders after one season, especially ones uh, where they've been ravaged by injuries. Now, you don't necessarily have a slot cornerback per se, but that's four cornerbacks. And I'm not fully convinced that Quasey, taking a look at his cornerback room that he built, by the way, and like I said, uh, he's not without ego. So you're looking at a second and a fourth round pick and then two free agents that he signed twice. If that's the case, maybe cornerback won't be at the top of the Vikings priority list, although slot certainly will be wide open, pun intended. Uh, and the Vikings... Cap space wise, they're 24 million in the hole. They can clear up around 60 million in space pretty quickly. So I'm not worried about that. If the Vikings want to be players in free agency, sure. But looking at the crop of current free agents, I mean, there's a, a lot of the top free agents are trend are either past the Rubicon of 30 or trending towards that way. So I I mean, there, I'm sure that there's going to be a couple of value uh, cornerback free uh, free agents out there, maybe trying to find that next Duke Shelley. But as of right now, like, are you spending up for Marcus Peters? Are you sp uh, spending up for Bradley Roby? Eh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's TBD there. And then you go to the draft. The problem is that the Vikings have a lot of needs on defense, especially, and they're currently limited with draft picks. Uh, they have four currently. I mean, they're projected for that fifth rounder because of Gronklin. Sure. So, But I, I don't think it's just a fait accompli that the Vikings just take a cornerback at 23, although it is a very deep cornerback class, and there's a lot of guys that will be within range uh, at 23 where – I wouldn't be mad at it at all. And I know everyone's rankings are different. This is CBS Sports. But, I mean, conceivably, a guy like Cam Smith from South Carolina could be there at the Vikings 23. Uh, Gonzalez, Witherspoon, Joey Porter Jr. may be off the board by then. Keely Ringo would be fantastic. Clark Phillips is, is solid. Jalen Jones. Uh, Emmanuel Forbes has been mocked to the Vikings quite a bit. So there, there's going to be a lot of talent there. But like I said, it's Quasey. It's ultimately going to be Quasey's call. And like like we said, if he resigns Peterson, if he resigns Shelley again, and then he's already got investments from last season in Evans and Booth that haven't uh, paid dividends out yet, is he going to force a cornerback pick? Or does he go in a different direction? I, I, I don't really know. Like, 
we, we don't have enough data to be able to make an educated guess on what Quace is going to do with the board. I, I'm sure he's like most GMs. Oh, we trust our big board, trust our big board, as opposed to drafting for need, because that keeps you drafting for need. But, you know, like I said, I mean, something has got to happen because the Vikings cornerbacks this year were whatever it was, whether it's coaching, whether it was talent, whether it was youth, whether it's whatever, they need some help. So I, I do think that they need to add a difference maker at, in the cornerback room, but will Quasey? And like I said, Quasey's – Quasi's decision is ultimately the one that matters with this team. But uh, your thoughts are your thoughts. Cornerback is a need, unless Quasi thinks it isn't. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most part the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.